Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is Connie from Pathacon Arts. Uh, earlier this week, I received something very exciting in the mail from Meets, uh, of my life Meets. She helped me to order these amazing things uh, in Japan, uh, from Itoya in Japan. Um, and I've been waiting for this for a while and I I received it, I think I received it on uh, Thursday or Friday and I've been holding myself back and not to open it until now because I really want to share with uh, everyone uh, in this unboxing fo uh, video. Um, I mean, the first time I heard of, uh, well, can you guess so far what I've actually ordered? I actually ordered the plotter from Itoya. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, April from Penguin P Creatives. She made a video on the plotter uh, system. I've known plotter since last year, but um, never really have seen anyone using it. So ever since she showed it on her video, I'm like, oh, this just sounds like something that I really would uh, like to uh, try out and use an app to my own current system, uh, especially for my creative projects. So let's just stop talking and start opening these bags. So I got two. I actually got three main package, but these are the two main ones from Itoya. Uh, I, think, I believe this is the most exciting one. That is the uh, actual plotter itself. Uh, on the front, it said something here. I'm, I'm just reading Japanese and this is written in kanji and katagana. It basically says six whole uh, Ringlet um, binder. That's what it means, I think, from what I read. Um, so yeah, let's just get this open. I haven't seen this. Uh, he opened it yet, so I opened it to take these out to take um, <laughs> to take a photo of early on, but I haven't actually opened it myself. Uh, so let's just open that first and. Uh, yeah, oh, this looks so beautiful. Look, um, I don't know if anyone been to Itoya in Japan before, in Ginza. Um, when I was in Japan, I stay in a hotel near Ginza, and um, Itoya, it's right on the Ginza, it's sort of off the Ginza main street, and it's like a six-story, I don't know, six, seven-story high uh, stationery shop. Uh, I was so overwhelmed was there that in on each level you got different things that you can uh, uh, you can buy. I think in the bottom level you have you have like some of the seasonal so sort of stationery, and then you have a whole level of paper, a whole level of um, of fountain pens, and and across the road as well it have a more like um, everyday stationery kind of uh, section. So let's just start. I can't wait to open these. Let's just start, open this. So. Um, let's just see. Oh, so beautiful. So it's wrapped in the iconic paper and a red ribbon. It's, um, one of the, uh, iconic things about Itoya is they have this, um, the logo of Itoya is the black and white, but also it's, um, it's, uh, what call, not, what, what do you call those, um, <laughs> paper clips. Yes. Red paper clip is the iconic, um, um, sort of logo and uh, it's on on the front of the shop as well so <gasps> so beautiful so I've ordered the Bible size so this is like a6 but not quite a6 um, I've ordered the um, oh I've got yeah Bible um, I hope it is the right color because uh, we we, we uh, Mitz couldn't open it because uh, it has been wrapped so nicely and she couldn't check it for me. So it come in the box like this and oh, so beautiful. Look at that. That's the um, the natural leather. I've ordered the natural leather. So nice. This is the natural color, uh, the, is it beige or natural color in Bible size and is the Pilbro, um, um, the Pilbro selection. So there's, they have a few different type of leather and this is the Pilbro, uh, um, collection that I've ordered. Um, it is made from more natural kind of leather and it's natural, 
uh, di naturally die. So the color sort of goes sink right into the leather and will age and pick up oil from your hand as you go. And I choose to get have this particular natural leather color because I've seen some users on Instagram that have ordered this before and they have used it for a while and it become really shiny because of the touch and the, uh, over the time when you use it, it create uh, it absorb the oil from your hand and it, it will change as you as it, it will age as you use it. So uh, that's why I got this particular color. So beautiful. So with Plotter, if you're not aware of what Plotter is, is is uh, is um, a ringlet system. I never used a ringlet before, and but it is also a very small ringlet. Um, I don't know how big the ringlet is, but it's quite tiny. You can see about maybe 1.5 um, um, diameter. Diameter? Is it the right word? Yeah, diameter about 1.5. And it's supposed to be it's like a slim ringlet. Now, I the reason why I stopped using ringlets early on is because I don't like my paper sort of bent towards the end because the ringlet is too large. But with a slim, like a small ringlet like this your paper is not going to bend so this is going to be uh, quite good like just I'm quite happy with it um, and um, yeah it's very very similar design to uh, their uh, uh, tr the travelers notebook kind of uh, dim well the the slim the slim lined look design of it it's very similar to the travels notebook it is uh from the same company um design feel uh the midori fam um mother's company uh design uh, put out plotters so yeah oh so beautiful and the leather smells so good oh my god right so yeah yeah it's a beige color beige they come in all these um sorry guys I, I take my taking my time to look at this because i have this is the first time i actually look at it it also at the back here it it have like some kind of imprint there let's say pot plotter number planner so number one planner organizer strategy number two tools to make drawings and design number three methodology or thinking number four those who change uh, those who change the context number five tools for change makers so that is obviously the uh, underlying vision they have for the product and they have it all printed at the back of the uh, notebook itself um, yeah that is so beautiful um, it hasn't come with any string or anything you have to they have to you have to buy all the accessories to go with it um, which I will be opening now so i'm going to put this aside so these are the second package i have to order i have to order um everything from a couple of different uh outward because um itoyo haven't got everything and plotter haven't got everything so i have to order from itoyo as well as plotter so this is two of the inserts i think and i also order a whole stack of ins other accessories from other places now i did it all in one go because uh it is not cheap to ship from japan so um yeah so let's just open all the itoyo stuff first oh they're so beautiful with their packaging they must have employed someone specific to uh, pack all their stuff because they all pack in a very similar uh, they fold it in a particular way or they've trained their workers to pack everything the same so that one is the two millimeter grid yes this one is sold out on the uh, plotter um the plotter website so i have to order it so I'm trying a few different refills so to see what it's like. This is 2mm grid, which I think will be great for uh, drawing graph or actually writing. I write a lot, but I'm, I'm not very good at writing strict on a blank piece of paper. So this is uh, pretty helpful, I guess, when it comes to writing. I also think it great looks better to write on the lines. Um, I had this discussion with my husband. He, I ordered some inserts for him for this year for his um, uh, a traveler's notebook, and he wanted line. I'm like, but you, why don't you just have um, why don't you just have um, a grid? Oh, I ordered two grid. I don't even remember what I ordered. I ordered two because that's basically what I use all the time. Um, and apart from that. 
oh this is another one bend with leaf a bend with lifter I think that is basically the elastic band that you can put you can put this uh, insert in there and elastic band will close the book for you so that's the insert for that I think um, what's the other the other insert so I just basically click one of everything because I just don't want to um, go back and order and if, because if this the postage is not cheap so I just order everything in one go and it's free postage if you order a certain amount um, so this is the pen holder with uh, a lifter so this is a, like a pencil board and you can put it in the in, as an insert but also you can uh, have a leather sort of pen holder on the side uh, if I've got the drawing paper I think two drawing paper because I'm mainly going to draw and do my creative project in this notebook so that's why I have the grid paper and the drawing paper as my main some kind of insert uh, I have two pack for each uh, and I have a to-do list because that's where uh, I'm going to use the most to actually uh, pens out what I'm going to do for each of the project and what I need to do especially when I do my uh, updates for my shops or when I order stocks for my shops so that's the to-do list uh, envelope folder I think this is like uh, mm. I'm unsure oh it opens up okay so it's where you're going to can keep a little bit of receipt or a little bit of trinkets, tickets or whatever you want and fold it back up. I think that's how it works. Um, and yeah, and when when you open it up, um, when it opened up, you can take them out. So it's like a plastic, like craft paper, plastic, um, not plastic, I mean craft paper, like envelope inside your, uh, your book. Oh. That one is the ring supporter, which it go behind the ring, which I will open it up in a second to set up the uh, the the <laughs> set up my folder. Uh, this one is the project manager, which allow you to slip your paper and your drawing paper in between this folder, and then actually uh, use it as a project uh, folder for each. You can section out your book, which I think is a really uh, good idea because I, like I said, I'm going to use this particular um, um, planner for my uh, creative projects. So that's that. I think that's all it is. Oh, the last one, which is a Bula pad, which is really handy, especially when I it's acts as a pencil board as well, but also it got all the measurements on it. So if I want to measure something really quickly, uh, I will be able to do that uh, quite easily, especially when I do drawings. Um, uh, that I need to translate onto my iPad or if I need to design a lot um, because I'm planning to design some stickers and washi tape I really need to know the measurements if, for my drawings and I will be able to use these to measure things up quite quickly or when I actually do um, a washi tape designs I can I will be able to use these uh, to look up quite quickly it also also here you got all the uh, um, the nib sizes on there uh, you'll be able to tell how fit each of the, uh, the lines are um, I mean that's not necessary but it is handy to see um, what points that you want your lines to be I think this is also very pretty very cool so I just got that there uh, all right so we have everything um, this is so cool I'm going to see can we uh, can I set it up so I'm going to start setting it up with the uh, ring supporter because that's the things that go right inside the middle so I'm gonna have to stop um, I was just going to take some paper out but maybe I should um I should uh, show you what's actually in each of these inserts. So this is the, um, the project manage, manager uh, manager insert. I think it's opened up. It has the chart and it got little tiny grid like a Gantt chart type things on there. So you'll be able to write your um, the, the each of the component of your project uh, here. And actually uh, chart on the date on when things are done so you'll be able to uh, track uh, 
uh, different parts of your project and and make use of your time really well. So, for example, for shop planning, you'll be able to see when things are done and when things overlapped. So you won't you'll be able to work more effect uh, efficiently. Um, it is definitely a design project um, uh, system. Uh, using a Gantt chart, I use Gantt chart a lot uh, for school planning for as a being a teacher, but also um, for my shop, I do use my Gantt chart. Um, you can some people use Gantt chart, a lot of people use Gantt chart as a tracker, but really Gantt chart is for project management um, uh, 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 tools. So this is the Gantt chart uh, folder, um, and I was going to put some drawing paper in it, but I didn't realize that it actually come as a book. Uh, so you can have to peel the page that you need to put in there and um, it also uh, perforated so you can actually take off your drawings anytime you want um, in there so that it's really quite cool um, so you can actually um, uh, uh, take off let's just say that I'm taking off one page Like we can put some of these paper in like this, uh, a couple of page of these, which you might need to, a couple of page of drawings. If I know I'm doing a project for uh, something, I can do two page of these. And I think I have uh, some of these. This is the two millimeters greed greed uh, refill come with this beautiful paper where you can do architecture drawing because it got the grid there uh, I'm not sure if you can get like um, asymmetric paper or if it's this is this is this is designed for architect architecture I'll assume that they will have some uh, asymmetric grid paper and or yeah uh, to help with the angles so I don't I don't know if you know what I mean by symmetric, so angular sort of uh, grid paper for uh, architectural drawings. Uh, so these are the grid paper, it's really tiny little grid, if you can see it very closely, more closely, yeah, so really tiny, uh, but I can see how it will be great for, um, great for um, architectural drawing. So you can peel a few page of this, and um, this one is not perforated. Um, you can't actually take off the paper. Uh, you can only shove it in there and you can't actually take it off. So once you obviously just say that I'm doing this project that I will require me to draw, do drawings or writing, I'll have two pages of drawing paper and I have some paper to write on. And this is my particular project. I can actually have the envelope inside this and then close this up like this and then close it and that sort of um, is my folder of the work that I'm doing for that particular project and that is the idea of um, of this project manager and you can write your project name on there and uh, who is the member and then <laughs> put, open it up and you also got your game chart on the side it's really well designed uh, insert that one uh, really well thought through um, yeah, so you got the idea of that. Um, so for now, I'm just going to let it sit there. Uh, let's just have a look at this lifter. Um, this is the pen holder lifter. So um, if I want to have my, I mean, I can have multiple uh, projects in this. You probably can put a few more in there. But for now, if it is just this, um, that's quite thin and that will look like this and uh, if I'm just going to put a pen in, in, in between I'm just, like, I'm just going to use any pen, any fountain pen by the way the paper feel really quite good so I'll say it's fountain pen friendly and you can put that in there it look quite beautiful and take this back out <laughs> it's quite, my pen's too thick <laughs> Um, I'm going to use a different pen, this is just a Muji pen, so just like, so a Muji pen fit perfectly in there, like this, so it's like a, it's like a, a, a plastic insert uh, with the, uh, a leather, um, a piece of leather fold on the side as a pen holder, which is really effective, I, yeah, 
I'm thinking about doing one of these for my um, for my uh, travelers notebook because I really much prefer to have the pen slip inside the uh, the cover itself. So it got different type of fonts, text samples in the front here, but also has different point size there as well as I don't know some quote uh, from famous people. Yeah, on the insert itself. Um, and you probably, I probably want to look at the to do list. It's something that I haven't. I don't, like I said, I don't use line paper, so I didn't order the line paper, but yeah, but I did use, got the to-do list. So with the to-do list, uh, it's not pre-related, but it has um, you, you, a line there, which means you can put dates on there, your mission, and then you got the, uh, like a chart of percentage from 0% to 100%, and when it's done, obviously you can tick it off. I thought this is a great list. Um, I'm a person who loves to list things. Um, I have the, At the moment, I list everything in my Hobonichi weeks, and, uh, but for a project-based uh, system, a to-do list would be perfect. Uh, so you can easily put one of these to-do list page at the front of your project, and, um, and then add on to it quite easily. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now just because uh, I just want to show you. And um, I think there's something else I haven't shot look at yet. So let's have a look at this ruler pad to see how it works. With this one, it's more movable. So you can see that it has the cuts on the top here, meaning that you can just slip it into your ringlet anytime you want and then we can flip it back and forth uh, i mean at the moment i have this project there but i might have time that i just want to sub just some nook section which i doesn't require me to put into a project fo folders so i can add a few just grid paper on the front here for me to actually drop down notes and you can section them out that way um, and then lastly, I'm going to clean this up a little bit <laughs> because there's so many uh, paper at the moment. Uh, so you can see better. Uh, lastly is the band with the lifter. Um, I think I didn't actually order this from Japan. I got it from a different shop um, because I can't find it in the Japanese website. So that's can usually, I think it doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it uh, in any parts of the book. But what it does is it comes with a band and you can actually close your book that way. So it looks like this when you uh, close it all up. You can see that, um, and then you can put your pens in here <laughs> like this. You can see on the side that it got, even though it's a small ring, it got quite a bit of room, so you can actually put, put quite a bit in there, even though it is a very, very thin um, notebook, um, it will allow you to do a, uh, put quite a bit in, in there. So I'm going to see how I go in using it, and I think that, um, I think uh, it has a very good potential to be a very good uh, notebook for, um, for people who do project like project based things like I think uh, for any designer architecture work um, or anyone who do project managing uh, sort of role this is a very very good uh, system to have anyway so that, that's about all I've got for today uh, which is a lot to take in I'm going to still have to play around with this but just to uh, recap what I have used so far is I've got the um, to-do list as my uh, to-do list <laughs> uh, also got the grid paper as my writing uh, writing insert as well as some drawing paper I've also got the um, the um, project manager um, insert that will allow me to um, to section out special for section special project oh hang on a second I haven't actually opened this one up yet this is the envelope folder so this is for you to keep like small little pieces and pieces so I'm going to open it up to have a look so with this one Uh, it's just a piece of paper folded this way and it will slip into it like that so you can put it in here anywhere you want 
it's like a trink uh, I like it for a little trinket so if you open it up you want to slip something in there like for example I want to put these stickers in there uh, or a few different uh, business cards or little stickers or little bits you can actually put it in like that yeah yeah so that's the folder I also have the insert there the rulers yeah and also the lifter at the end there you go that's about it um, so I'm going to spend some time playing around with uh, this plotter system and I will get back to you guys later on um, about how I go with it um, just one last thing some of you might be uh, a little bit uh, curious about the size of a Bible size book um, system how big it actually is I'm going to take out uh, my Kobunichi size 6 and a size 5 so you'll be able to tell the difference so this is a size this is a size 6 size 6 uh, Hobonichi techo and that is a size A5 Hobonichi techo so you can see the difference between the sizes um, I mean if you open it up, it's more clear the difference between them. This is the A6 textual, and this one is the a Bible size. So it is a bigger, but slightly slightly narrower um, dimension in comparison to uh, Hobonichi textual, but definitely longer. Okay, um, and I might. Go and get the in comparison to our A5 Slim. So this is the TN size. It is definitely very narrower than the normal TN size, but shorter. So that is the difference. And if you want to compare that with, um, I mean, that obviously the A5 size is way, way, way bigger, um, but. This is pretty much um, half, maybe half of the um, of the A5 size. Now, I mean, there's no comparison to it, but I didn't feel that this is a very small notebook. Put that way, I didn't feel that this is a small. I didn't feel that this is as small as the um, uh, A6 size. I, I mean, have a very similar feel to A6 size, but very longer and maybe more like a short feel like a short tn that's what i'll i'll say it feel like for a bible size um this is a very good size i think um for everyday planning um it is a perfect size for everyday planning uh what always also come in a5 um a5 size as well as a slim version and the slim is even narrow i think the slim is similar to this but longer but slightly narrower than this but um yeah so i, I was hesitating but i was i wasn't sure should i get the slim or should i get the bible but i think i get the bible is the right size for me because the slim is even slimmer than this even um, thinner than this and I mean, it's okay if you like to list, and it would be all right if you want to work on both pages. But I think for a single page, a slim is a little bit too slim to my liking. I uh, even though I say that, it might turn out that I will still like it. But yeah, at, at this moment, I'm quite happy with the Bible size, and I was considering getting an A5 size, but A5 is quite large in comparison to a Bible size, as you can see. So I'll see how I go, and I'll get back to uh, uh, get back to you later on about how I go with this um, with, with with this plotter. But just have a last look, so you can see the comparison between this notebook size. Like I said, it's the most comparative with the A6 size. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, unboxing video and uh, I hope you have a lovely day uh, and I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.